Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be making a really fun project. As you can see, I'm on the Barely Art webpage. The reason why is because I wanted to point out something to you in case you didn't know. Um, you can download some SVG files from them. So if you go to products, you can go to see all SVG files and it comes with a free commercial license. So what that means is for instance, if you use these cherries, on a cake topper. You can sell that cake topper with the cherries. So we're gonna be doing a fun project. I'm on the Barely Art Design team and I love it. It's a lot of fun. Next time they open up for a new team, I definitely recommend you guys joining, uh, applying to join because it's, it's just a lot of fun. You get challenged to make things. You end up doing like a team project, which is what I'm gonna talk about in a second. And it's just, um, you know, it's building the crafting community. It's a lot of fun. I, like I said, I highly recommend it. Anyway, so my team, we are doing this project called The Glitter Bears, and it's a hashtag. So hashtag The Glitter Bears. Make anything that comes to mind when you hear The Glitter Bears. And if you use the hashtag on Instagram, then your project is submitted uh, to our contest. And the contest ends on Sunday, so that's September 26, 2021. I'm doing this video and I'm doing a live on Instagram that will happen Friday, September 24th. The reason why I'm telling you is because on Friday when I do my live, I'm going to pull up that hashtag and we're going to be talking about all the different submissions. So if you want me to talk about your account and plug it a little bit, do it by Friday. <laughs> but if you can't make it by Friday, still submit for the contest for Sunday because we are going to pick five winners to try out Barely Art Glue and it's just a lot of fun. And you'll get, um, you'll probably, you know, get announced on the Barely Art um on their feed. You'll definitely get on my feed. So with my, you know, 20 some thousand followers where, you know, on all the different channels, you'll get that too. So, um, anyway, my project, I'm not really, I can't really submit, right? I can't win my own project. I mean, my own contest, but I am making a big off the map bear and it's going to be this little guy over here, this one. And instead of the paint bucket being a heart, I'm actually gonna cover up that heart. I'm going to use this lemon and we're gonna make a shaker out of the lemon. It's gonna spin and it's gonna have these polymer clay lemon pieces in there. It's gonna be fun. I don't know, it's all in my head right now. Let's see if I can execute and I'm gonna take you along for that ride and see if we can do that together. So anyway, you add it to the cart and it's free. So I'm not gonna actually check out because you're gonna see my personal information, but I've already downloaded the files. They're over here. We're gonna walk through that in a minute. So get that, get all these files. They're so cute. Um, Jeremy recently did a gnome. I think they did a big off the mat gnome. I don't want to put him down, but it, you know, I feel like mine would have been, uh, you know, better. <laughs> He's probably gonna watch this and be like, what? No, um, so we're gonna do the bear though. All right, so um, first thing is when you download it, it's in a zip file. So I'm gonna go to show in folder and I'm gonna show you how to um, take it out of that and so that we can upload it, okay? So here are my two files, my two zip files. I'm gonna do the lemon first. I'm gonna double click on the lemon, um, get into that file and I want this one. I want my SVG files, right? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drop it into my desktop. So that's the lemon one. Let's go back to downloads and I gotta get my bear. So come on, dude. Let's give it a second. Okay, uh, let's go back. Okay, so here is my bear one, right? The Barely Art logo. I'm gonna double click on that, get into the file, and I'm gonna extract out that one single SVG file that I want. So here we go. Um, perfect. Barely Art. Uh, color layers, shoot, I don't know. I'm gonna grab all three of them. I'm gonna drop it into my downloads. Okay, let's go into design space. Oh, did I drop it into my downloads? Okay, let's go to uploads, upload image, browse, and 
Let's go to desktop, barely art. So barely art, perfect, they're all here. Barely art, lovely lemon, that's my first one. There's my lemon, perfect, upload. Okay, then upload image, browse, let's go get our bear. Oops, so barely art, bear let's see if this is the right one. Oh, it doesn't have the pretty and this is not an svg file you see because it doesn't it's giving me this which means it's a it's a um like a jpeg or a png so it's more of like a print and cut so i'm going to go back browse let's see where is my other one barely art I'm gonna try this one. Darn it, these are not right. So hold on, let me go back to this. this I am in my SVG. I don't want PNG. Yeah, these are PNG files. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, did I not? Okay, I must have done something wrong. So I just put it back in there. Let's see if this is now right. Okay, let's go to upload, upload image, browse. Put it in my desktop, right? Okay, so here is barely art. Here we go. Yes. This is what I want. Upload. So it's a cut image, right? Because we want to be doing. Okay, so let's bring in both these items and add to canvas. So I'm pretty sure what happened was the I had dropped it, remember, into my back into my downloads. The one that's the ones that we saw in design or in my um, desktop was probably a download from previous. So anyway, <laughs> let's look at this. So this little bear is, I'm gonna be using, so see the bear is on top, that black layer is sitting on top, right? I'm gonna be using black glitter cardstock, so it's gonna hide all my seams. My white underneath, um, The white's going to show. We're going to have to make sure that where we slice the white, it's not showing everywhere. Like it, we can't slice the white in the middle right here because you're going to see that seam. So we don't want that seam at all. So this is going to be tough to hide. Um, we can do it. I was looking at my sugar skull because it's kind of the same, the same color. Can you see it a little bit? Anyway. Um, let's make this 30 inches and see what we have. So that's in my height. Um, so this little lemon is going to be big enough to kind of like swirl right here. So let's make this lemon big. So it's going to sit right here and it's going to spin. Okay. It's going to spin. It's going to have the lemons inside. And I'm gonna make, so let's do some changes here. I'm gonna make this paint brush yellow as well, just so that, you know, we're color coordinating this. So that's gonna be yellow. This heart, I'm gonna delete. This bare image, so let me move the lemon over now that we've already resized the lemon. The lemon's big. Okay, we're gonna make this um, we're gonna go get this black contour and we're gonna hide this heart. I don't want the heart cut out at all because I'm gonna replace it with the lemon. So let's wait for this to come up. So let's get rid of that. 
Okay, so here is our black now. This lemon's gonna sit over here in this bucket and it's gonna spin, okay? So what else? On my lemon, I'm not gonna want all of these pieces anymore. So actually, the only thing I want is the lemon. So let's just start deleting all these eyes and whatever because we're gonna actually be slicing it out and doing a foam layer so that we can put the sequins in or the sequins and the, and the polymorph clay, right? So on the left hand or right hand side panel, you can select one item, hit your shift key, and just click on all these things that we don't need. Okay, we don't need this or this. And we're just gonna hit delete. So all we're left with is the lemon. We don't need these little cutouts, right? So let's go to contour and we're gonna hide all. So now we've got our lemon. We'll do the contouring in a bit, but this is gonna be sim a simple project in a sense, well, at least one step. <laughs> it's, only, it's only three colors. It's a white layer, a black layer, and the yellow layer, right? Okay. Whew. Let's see what we have here. We might have to make this just a little bit smaller because I'm worried about this little white area, but what we're gonna do is we're going to go into upload and view all. So the thing with off the mat is we're basically making something so big that your Cricut can't cut, right? When there's, we don't have paper that's 30 inches. Well, not pretty paper, right? Yeah, maybe butcher paper that's long, right? But we don't have beautiful 30 inch glitter cardstock. So with off the mat, basically what we're doing is we're slicing up our our bear into pieces that we can cut on the Cricut with paper that we do have 12 by 12, uh, 12 by 12 inch paper. So we're gonna slice this up. I have this available for purchase. Um, I created the grid so that, I don't think that's the one, here it is. This is the one, sorry. It comes like this, it's nine squares or uh, 16 squares completely flushed with each other. I'm gonna show you how to use it. It's so much easier than recreating it each time. So it's just an SVG file that you can buy and upload and upload into Design Space. So let me show you. So it comes like this, right? So we're gonna put it down like this. What you wanna do is you wanna put this grid on an actual whole number. So 6.042 becomes six, 1.5 becomes two. And then I'm going to arrange, send it to the back so that we can see our bear. And then I'm gonna ungroup my square. So let's look to see where it's slicing. So there's a slice, a line running through right here. And I don't like that because I'm not gonna be able to cover it. But if I do my slice right here, it's cutting through the paintbrush. So it's just a little white. Let me move this up a little bit. So I, so actually I'm going to rotate this bear a little bit like this. The reason is I want this line, this white, line or this seam right here is going to come through the paintbrush and then the paintbrush is going to be black glitter cardstock so i'm not going to see that white seam there's going to be a little bit right here but no one's going to notice that little seam right there um because the rest let's see if we can make this work the face The face is gonna have a seam right here. So no seams there because the black's gonna cover that. There's gonna be a little bit of a seam right here and right here. I feel like there's nothing I can do about that. Here is good, but there's gonna be a seam right here. We're gonna have to move that. Let's move this up a little bit. So you see we're like moving our stuff. But the reason why the grid is on a whole number is you're gonna see in a minute, I'm gonna be moving some things over. So for instance, let's see this foot. Okay. I should have done the 16, but that's okay. We're gonna grab this square, hold on. 
We don't need this lemon in here. Sorry, I'm going to I'm going to grab this. These three copy, control C, control V. And because everything's on a grid, I'm going to move this over and I know I'm going to be able to make it flushed because I'm going to put it right here or you could have just dropped in the 16. Okay? And I'm going to go here and do this is 39 and 2. And now I know all my squares are completely flushed with each other, okay? So let's bring this back. So it's gonna go something like right here. So this head, there's gonna be a seam right there and right there. I'm okay with that. And let's move this to the back. Oops, no, sorry. Um, let's look at this. So, let's grab this. Control C, Control V, because we have to slice both the black and the white. So I'm moving this whole thing Why did it not? Oh, there it is, okay. It's super slow right now, so give me a second. I'm gonna need to grab this and put it back. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's too, I think it's too much going on right now. So I'm gonna delete this, sorry. Um, I'm going to delete all these squares because I think it's bogging down our system. So we're going to have to do it one at a time. So no worries. We're going to get it. So this whole thing shifted because you see my square is no longer on a whole number. So you've got to just check because it's much easier to get it on a grid. Um, so let's do five and five so that if we make mistakes, we can go back and recreate it more easily. Okay, so now this is on a grid, perfect. Okay, so let's slice, in this case, we're gonna slice the white. So let's ungroup this. We're gonna move that over, and this yellow is fine, right? So you see we're slicing right here, we're slicing right here. It's like minimal where we can see it. And then, okay, so you see how we're slicing the foot? We'll get to this in a second. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start slicing, okay? This one has nothing, so we're gonna delete that. Let's start slicing up this guy. So one square at a time. This would be a lot easier if we didn't go 30 inches. <laughs> but what's the point if we don't do 30 inches, right? Okay, so we're slicing all the way around, okay? So we know that there's a slice coming through the foot. The reason why I bring that up is we're going to cut a complete white piece for just the foot so that we won't see the seams at all, okay? You're like, what the heck is she talking about? It, it's gonna make sense. <laughs> and then we're gonna, we're gonna start narrowing it down like that to see if there's anywhere else that we can do that where we can kind of fix it and hide the seams. Okay, so we're going to make our way through just slicing. Now, I say this all the time. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So we're slicing one square and the bear. Those are our two items. If you grab more than one square, for instance, if I grab two squares and the bear, that's three items. You're not going to be able to slice. Slicing is going to be grayed out. So, oh shoot, let me undo that real quick. Okay, let's slice out this.
So we're gonna be able to see where all our slicing, where all the seams are gonna be, okay? And that's gonna be important for us because we wanna to try to cover up as much as we can, right? A lot of it, we covered it up by putting the seams where the black is gonna cover it because the black glitter cardstock, I know from personal experience, can handle the seams. You're not really gonna be able to see it. So I'm gonna put this little guy back over, okay? So I'm gonna put him arranged sent to the top or sent to the front, okay? So we know where the seams in the white is. I didn't finish slicing this because I can't get to it, but don't worry about that, it's coming. So here we go. So this seam in the paintbrush, I didn't notice that, the face. What was I thinking? Okay, this will be covered, right? It's gonna be the yellow. Arrange, send to the front, okay. So that's gonna cover that seam. I really didn't do a good job. <laughs> this face, what was I thinking? Uh, for some reason, I thought the seam was through the paintbrush, but I guess I made a mistake and I, I moved this bear without noticing. Um, okay. This is all good here because we can cover a lot of that. But this face, what was I thinking? We should have moved it down a little bit. Did I miss that somewhere? Okay, you guys can tell me, but I would redo that, okay? But I'm gonna show you in a second how we're gonna cover up this foot, okay? So we're not gonna, I won't do that. Um, let's see, we can cover up this piece by just putting a, triangle there so let me show you what I would do so this foot let's do the foot first so what you want to do let's move this over let's bring in I don't know what is going on with design space right now I'm bringing in a square okay so let's move this over you can see it what okay Why are you doing that to me? Okay, let me move this down here. Are you watching this? Okay, let's move this square down. I'm gonna use it in a clean space. Okay, I want to isolate this foot, okay? Let me duplicate this so I can show you what that looks like, okay? We're gonna be doing this a few times. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because this whole project's gonna take a really long time, but I wanna show you the steps so that you can apply this when you need to, okay? All right, so you see the foot right here, right? I'm gonna cover this foot. I don't know what's going on with design space right now. Okay, I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. I know, it's, it's a process. So let's get rid of this. We don't need this. Did I? I'm losing my head. I apologize. Let me undo this really quickly. I, I think I may have deleted the piece that I wanted. Don't um, don't craft when you're not fully thinking. <laughs> okay, what is going on? Where are all my pieces? I apologize. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Um, but this is a good a good exercise because I really want you guys to. Um, I used to work for Bank of America. I was a process designer for them. So we would run projects, right? And system changes, right? Like banking system changes. But 
the thing to understanding like how to use design space is we need to understand how to slice or what happens when we slice and where the negative is. So this is, Im this is an important lesson, I promise. So give me a second. Okay, here we go. Let me undo it one more time and see if all my pieces are there. We're going back to the beginning. Okay, so I just sliced it, right? So is this the piece that I want? It is the piece that I want. This piece right here. Because what I want to do is I want to go to contour. And I don't know why it's jumping around like that. Design space is really funky right now. I'm going to hide all, okay? The piece that I want is this piece right here. And this piece. I don't want this, okay? I'm going to show you why I want that piece. This is the piece that I want, okay? Let's get rid of everything else because I think that design space is acting crazy right now, okay? We're going to turn this into, I'm going to make this a different color just so that we can see it, okay? But this is, this is what's happening. Here is our white piece up here, right? This is our white bear with all these cut lines, right? So the black is going to sit on top like this. But our white piece has a seam right there and right there, right? So what we're going to do is, so actually this piece, hold on, let me go to contour. I own, I don't need this piece right here. I don't need that piece. So you see how we have a seam right there? This is going to be a white piece of cardstock. And we're going to put it in. So it's going to be white. Oh, I did need that little piece. Hold on. Let me contour. Let me bring that piece back. I thought I needed it. So you see how we had, we had a seam here and we had a seam here, but now we don't because this white is going to sit on top, this little piece right here. So let's change this to white so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about. Right? Seam disappeared. We're going to do the same thing over here and it's going to be another white piece and it's going to cover all these seams right here. You can do the same for the flower petal here and here. So you'll see a little bit of a seam here and here, but you wouldn't see it here because you can do it with the flower petal. You can do it with the, um, what do you call it, the center of the flower and then the flower here. Here, this is so minimal. You're not going to see that. Um, here you could do this piece as well. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's do the foot again, okay? So, oh my God, I don't know what is going on with design space. It won't sit still. I'm duplicating it so that we have another copy. Oh, good Lord, okay. <laughs> let's bring in a square again. Here's my square, right? I'm gonna make it big so that it covers my whole foot, okay? I'm gonna grab my bear and my square and slice. After this one, I'm gonna go do the lemon and I'm not, cause I'm not, we're not gonna do this whole thing. Otherwise you'll be here with me forever. But let's look at this piece. This is the piece we want, right? We want this right here. So let's go to contour and we're gonna hide all. I only want this piece. I don't want this piece, okay? So this is what happens. All right, so let's go back to our bear put this back on here so that we can see where all the seams are, right? So we have this seam here, here, here. This is what's gonna happen. This little guy is gonna come in and cover all the seams. So now the foot, the both, both feet are seamless. So you see like, it helps to know where you're slicing it and what else we can do. So all of this will be seamless right here. 
The only seams you're going to see is this one because this is one big open area that I can't do anything about and this one. But this, the rest will be seamless, right? I had wanted this paint brush to cover this seam and somehow I made the mistake. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but this will not have a seam because we're going to have a little white piece to cover that as well. So you can kind of see like even though this is 30 inches and it's only two colors, we're picking a color that we know the bear can hide. Now, in fact, we could do a different color than black. I'm trying to think if I have another color glitter cardstock because it doesn't have to be a black background or a black stencil, right? We can make it, I know the orange hides really well, so I'm gonna have to see what color I wanna do. But the lemon will be here, or we don't have to put the lemon here. We could put the heart back. We could put the lemon, I feel like it looks best here rotating on the bucket though. But you can kind of see what we were doing, right? So let's go, um, the only other thing you need to do is you would need to slice up this piece um, by using the grid and then let's look at the lemon. So the lemon is the right size already. What we wanna do is we want to, design space is killing me right now. You wanna go to an offset and we're gonna do an internal offset, okay? So that means we're gonna go to the left of this bar. So I'm gonna click something like this. So you see how it's cutting inside? I want something thicker. That's gonna be thick enough for my foam. So I like that, I'm gonna apply that. So that's gonna be, so I'm gonna grab the two lemons. I'm gonna make a copy, okay? So hang with me for a second. We're gonna slice these two items. This is gonna be the foam, the foam um, so that it's thick. We're gonna put the sequins on the inside, okay? This lemon is gonna be our bottom layer. That's gonna, that's, so think of it like this, okay? My bottom layer, the foam sits on top so that I can pour the sequins and the polymore clay inside, okay? Then what you can do is on this one, hold on, let's get rid of, we don't need this. Okay, so here's our foam, here's our back layer. We still need an acetate layer, right? So we can duplicate this. Actually, sorry, duplicate this one. One is our bottom layer and one is our acetate layer, okay? The acetate layer, I'm gonna change that color so that we know. I'm gonna change it to maybe light blue. So this will be our acetate paper to you know, put on top of the foam to keep all of our um, sequins inside. So this is our foam, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is our foam. Um, it's killing me right now. Okay, this. This is our offset, right? So let's go back to our lemon. We're gonna do another internal offset, okay? So I'm gonna click on offset and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I can't see it right now. Let's apply it and we're gonna change that to a different color. Can I see it? There. The reason why I want this to be even more inside is for this reason. Let's grab these two and slice, okay? Okay, so follow me for a minute. Gosh, this design space is killing me right now. I'm gonna duplicate this because I lost my lemon somewhere. Oh, geez. I'm gonna duplicate it and contour, hide all. Okay, so follow me for a minute, okay? This is our backmost layer, okay? 
Um, on top of that, we're gonna put our foam. So let me move it to the top. This is gonna be our foam and it's gonna sit perfectly like this, right? We're gonna pour our sequins on the inside. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the acetate layer on top. That's gonna keep our sequins in, right? Then we're going to put this on top of that. This is gonna arrange send to, the, send to the front. And I'm just gonna change the color so that we can see it. But you see with the foam, when things don't line up perfectly or just, you know, glue or whatever, this is gonna sit on top and it's actually gonna hang over a little bit from where the foam is. So it's gonna hide all our imperfections. And then inside is the stuff. Does that make sense? So you need all those layers. You want your offset to be even bigger. So it's gonna be thicker and it's gonna hang over where the foam is. So you don't see the foam at all and you're not gonna see any of the imperfections. In fact, you could even make, you can even have it sit, yeah. That's gonna just cover all of our glue and all of our mistakes. And that's it. So make this with me. I'm gonna cut everything and we'll assemble it together. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Comments, questions. I'm gonna be doing this again and again on different projects and it's gonna make more sense. It won't make sense until you follow me step by step and I think hearing what I'm saying and actually doing it and then cutting it will will really piece it all together for you guys. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.